Canada is the country of many things, many places. Is the country of many races, many people, no matter where you live, no matter where your place is, Canada is waiting for you. Today, we're going to learn about Shaw. We don't use Shaw very frequently in modern English, particularly in American English. It is used to make offers and suggestions and to ask for advice. For example, what time shall we meet? Are we both in it now? What dress should I wear? Shall I open the window? You only really need to know that about Shaw, modern English. Read the rest of this. Only if you want to know more about how some older speakers still will use Shaw. Formerly, in older grammar, Shaw is used as an alternative to will with I and we. Today, we was normally used. When we do use Shaw, it has an idea of a more personal, subjective feature. For example, shall I go to see the boss and I shall ask him to explain this decision? Notice that the negative Shaw can be shall not or shan't. Though the second negative form is now very rare in American English. For example, I don't like these people and I shall not go to their party. I shan't object if you go without me. Which one is the correct form of Shaw? One, I saw him in the park, but he shall not wear those socks while wearing. Two, shall you work tomorrow? Three, I see you when you shall go to lunch. Four, she shall go there after Saturday. The answer is number one. I saw him in a park, but he shall not wear the socks while rent. He shall not wear. Shaw is like a suggestion. Two. Shall we, you work tomorrow? Shaw, it has to be with the double L. Three, I'll see you when you shall go to lunch. You shall go to lunch, Shaw. It's will. Four, she shall go there after a set of her. Goes, she shall go. It has to be go. Explore the website of Canada Smart Mind. You can enjoy yourself learning English, French, and the Canadian immigration process. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time.